This bill clarifies that DCS may consider the religious and moral beliefs of the child or their family of origin, including in relation to the religious or moral beliefs of the prospective adoptive or foster parent when determining the most appropriate placement for the child. The bill intends to protect otherwise qualified parents from being, de from being denied the ability to adopt or foster children based on values and beliefs. This bill is not about the best interests of the, of, this, of the young people, of the children, of the teens, whoever's being put into these situations. This is just trying to legislate discrimination and putting our children into hostile environments that we should be ashamed of. Representative Jones. Thank you. Um, Representative Littleton, I think it's interesting that the word moral is in this bill uh, because this bill is immoral. Discrimination cloaked under the guise of religion is still discrimination. Hate cloaked under the veil of religion is still hate. You, know, you stated that you want these kids to be sent into a home where they're loved and where they can flourish. Can you explain the logic of how a child can go into a home where they're told that they are wrong, that their identity is wrong, that they don't belong, that they are, have made a mistake with who they are, and how can they flourish in such an environment? Representative Littleton, I just am struggling to understand the logic behind putting a child in such an environment and saying that if your identity is constantly at play, being challenged, that you can still flourish and feel love. Can you explain that, Representative Littleton? Chair Lady Littleton, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm not sure how many ways I can under, I can explain that this is for the best interest of the child. If those parents have religious and uh, more of and moral beliefs against it, and, and do not want the child in their home, this prevents that. And maybe the child wouldn't want to go in that home. You're, 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 this is what protects the child. It's the best interest of the child. Representative Jones, this bill is called the Tennessee Foster and Adoptive Parent Protection Act. It doesn't say the Child Protection Act. And nowhere in the script that they prepared for you did you answer the question to say, how can a child be protected and feel validated and flourish in an environment where they may be put in a home that says that because they are LGBTQ+, that they are wrong, that they are mistaken, that they are sinful, or whatever language you want to use. I mean, it, it just is, it's, it's, it's not logical. And so can you, is, did they give you notes on that? Can you explain an example where a child goes into this environment and can, can flourish? I, I, I'm struggling to see that. Chair Lady Littleton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This bill clearly says that they would not go into those homes if they were had religious beliefs or more beliefs. And that's why other states are shutting out foster parents that will not accept those children because of moral beliefs and their religious beliefs. So this is to protect as well as the child, the foster parents and the uh, adoptive parents. Because all of them should have the same, if they, if they refuse, there are a couple of states already will not let them have another child. Representative Jones. I'm reading the legislation, Representative Lipson. It says that the department cannot create policies requiring a current or prospective adoptive or foster parent to affirm, accept, or support any government policy regarding sexual orientation or gender identity that conflicts with the parent's sincerely held religious beliefs. Nothing in this is saying that children will be protected, Representative Lipson. I don't know who wrote this, but I don't know if you didn't write it, so you don't know what's in the bill, but this bill that I'm reading before me right here says that children can be placed in environments that are hostile to them, that they are not affirmed, that they're not welcome, that they're not treated with dignity because of who they love or how they identify with. And that is immoral. Can you, can you explain a case, an example of, of, of a parent who was denied adopting a child here in this state because they did not accept them for being LGBTQ? Can you give us an example in your district or in this state that might, may merit this legislation? A real life example of somebody perhaps who reached out to you about this? Chair Lady Littleton, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The department, this bill says, the Department of Children's Services shall not require a current or prospective adoptive or foster parent to affirm, accept, or support any government policy regarding sexual orientation or gender identity that conflicts with the parent's sincerely held religious or moral beliefs. So you're saying right the opposite. This says that they don't have to accept them. Representative Jones. Thank you. So again, my question was, can you give an example? And we cannot. Because it is, it, this 
This legislature has done everything they can to bully LGBTQ children and teens, and it is wrong. We are adults here bullying children and putting them in environments where they're not safe. When we leave here, colleagues, we should be ashamed that we're letting these things go through. This is a bill that is a solution in search of a problem. This is a bill about legislating hate. This is a bill about using religion, the white sheet, the whatever you want to call it, cloaking it over discrimination, over children. And that is who we should be concerned with protecting every day in this body. Representative Todd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move previous question. Previous question has been called. There's objection. We're on the board. We are voting. All those in favor of previous question, vote aye when the bell rings. Those opposed, vote no. As every member voted, does any member wish to change their vote? Mr. Clark, please take the vote. Aye, 73, 20 nays. Previous question prevails. We are voting.